Hello and welcome to Video Jug. We're going to show you how to prepare the Japanese dish sashimi using crab and sea bream. Step 1. You will need a large cooked crab's leg. If you are unable to buy a cooked crab's leg, simply boil a fresh one in water for 15 to 20 minutes. Pliers to debone the crab leg. A fillet of raw sea bream. Some wasabi. A very sharp knife and a serving plate. For the garnish, you can use the Japanese radish daikon, preferably shredded, and chizo leaves, both of which can be purchased from your nearest Japanese food store. And here they are again. Cooked crab's leg, pliers, fillet of raw sea bream, wasabi, a very sharp knife, serving plate, daikon, and chizo leaves. Step two, what is sashimi? Sashimi is simply slices of raw, usually saltwater fish like yellowtail, tuna, sea bream and squid, to name just a few. The freshness and quality of the fish is absolutely crucial. The flavours will be delicate and the texture should melt. Step 3. The fish. Purchase your fish from a fish specialist and tell them that you are buying it for sashimi. Indications of freshness include moist, shiny bright skin and firm flesh. Fish should also smell of the sea and not exude a pungent fishy aroma. Ask your fishmonger to prepare the fish into fillets. Step 4. Prepare the crab. Make sure your hands, the preparation area and the knife are clean. Take the cooked crab's leg. Firmly snap the shell along the centre of the leg and very carefully peel it off. Try not to damage the meat when doing this. Take a small pair of pliers and holding the crab flesh still, pull out the bones. We've put a napkin under the crab to stop it slipping as we do this. Make sure you have got all the bones out. Lay the now boneless crab leg on the cutting board and slice it into bite-sized portions. Step 5. Prepare the sea bream. Lay the fillet on the cutting board. Take your knife and very carefully slice between the skin and the flesh. Be careful now. Use your other hand to keep the fish in place. Using the same knife, shape the skinless fillet into a rectangle. This will give you evenly sized sashimi slices. Now cut off large thin slices from the fillet. Fold each piece over as you go. Warning. Never cut the fish with a sawing motion as this will crush the cells. Use a sharp knife which slices cleanly through the fish in one action. Step 6. Serving the sashimi. Now it's time to make a bed for the sashimi. Take a handful of shredded daikon and twist it into a ball. Then place it onto your serving plate. Select a nice looking chizo leaf and place this on the daikon. Finally, place the crab and the sea bream neatly on top. Step 7. Wasabi. This is the extremely hot mustardy green paste that accompanies most sushi dishes. Take a very small amount of wasabi, roll it into a ball shape and add it as the final touch to your sashimi plate. Done.